Hello everyone! So here's another DIY video on how I created a name backdrop for our baby shower decoration. So what we have here is a big hula hoop. So I'm going to paint it with shell acrylic paint. Most people I've seen, they actually spray paint this, which I think is a lot easier. But because I have so much paint at home, so I don't want to buy any spray paint unless it doesn't work. I'll start with a smaller brush and I'll just have to cover the entire hula hoop. So far, this is how it looks like. It's very streaky. So I won't highly recommend using this because this will take forever. But as I said, if you already have this at home and you don't want to buy, just be patient. I'm going to do another layer of the paint later and I'll finish the bottom part once it's dry and then we'll finish the back part. So for day two, I'll complete the rest of the painting on the bottom part and in the back part. So that was we did yesterday and then now I thought of putting it on top of the table so it will be laid flat and it will be a lot easier. Finally done. So that's how it looks like. So it's a lot easier to put it flat this way and one side each. So you finish one side, let them dry and then flip them and do the other side. And what I find is that when you find like there's a very streaky part, use a water to tone down your paint. It will make your um, paint a lot thinner and easier to move around. Use Canva website to create the pattern for Bella's name. Then I select poster which has 42 by 59 cm dimension. Then I select the text and change it to Bella's name. I rotate the fonts to maximize the area then adjust it to make it bigger and fits the whole area. If you don't want to waste ink from your printer, you can select Effects and select Hollow. After that, you can download it and print. After printing, it will be cut into 6 A4 sizes. Just connect all the letters, then tape it down. Then, cut it out to use it as a pattern. I use a pen to trace the pattern to the styrofoam. Then use a cutter to cut it out. I'll fast forward it so you'll see how satisfying it is to cut it. And also to show how easy it is to cut the letters using the cutter. Don't worry when you see the edges are very rough. All you need is a sandpaper and it will smoothen it out.
You can also erase the pen marks by lightly sanding it over. I also folded the sandpaper to go through the edges and also through the holes. I retraced the letter to another styrofoam and leaving about an inch of a gap to create a background design and also this will help to connect all the letters. I used a pink glitter for the letter and white pearly glitter for the background. To adhere the glitter, I used an Elmer's glue and spread it out using a brush. Then, I pour the glitter on top. Then I remove the excess glitter that doesn't stick to the styrofoam. I use a paper to catch all the excess glitter and pour it back on. I also added glue on a small area that the glitter won't adhere. Then, pour the glitter on top of it. Just repeat the process in all the letters. We did the same thing with the background and stick the letters on top and then we let it dry. I use a skewer stick to punch a hole on the top right and left side of the letters and also at the bottom side and I use a fishing line to attach the letter to the ring by using the fishing line it will look invisible and the letter looks like it's floating in the middle of the ring you can also buy a transparent one, but what I have has a blue tint on it, but it's alright because the backdrop I'm using is color gray. And there you have it! Thank you for watching, hope this helped you for your DIY project. Please like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, click the bell button to notify you for the next video, where I'll be creating the balloon garland for our baby shower.